we start our worship we start our worship today with this prayer when jesus walked on this earth he felt what we feel he saw human joy and pain he saw human vulnerability and strength as we gather today let us be thankful that he knows how our emotions work. Loving God, thank you that when we are happy, you are with us. When we are sad, you are with us. When we are frustrated, you are with us. When we are angry, you are with us. When we are confused, you are with us. When we don't know how we feel, you are with us. May we give ourselves and all of our emotions to you in our worship today. Amen. Our first uh, hymn today is The Lord is My Shepherd. It's the modern version by Stuart Townsend. Feast on his pure delights 
Your goodness will lead me home. Our Bible reading today is from Luke chapter 12. Jesus says, I have come to set the world on fire, and I wish it were already burning. I have a, a terrible baptism of suffering ahead of me, and I am under a heavy burden until it is accomplished. Do you think I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I have come to divide people against each other. From now on families will be split apart, three in favour of me and two against or two in favour and three against. Father will be divided against son and son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, and mother-in-law against daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. Then Jesus turned to the crowd and said, When you see clouds beginning to form in the west, you say, here comes a shower and you are right. When the south wind blows you say, today will be a scorcher, and it is. You fools who know how to interpret the weather signs of the earth and sky, but you do not know how to interpret the present times. This uh, Bible reading uh, is one of those that uh, causes us some uh, consternation. Uh, so let's ask God to help us to understand it. Dear Lord, we pray that as we try to understand your sometimes contrary words, that they may still help and guide us as how to live. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, uh, this week I haven't uh, preached on Sunday morning, so I don't know what the Archdeacon uh, took of this or took of the other passages. Uh, but what I have uh, thought is that, again, we face uh, some kind of struggles a little with what we, be, what we have in front of us. Uh, Jesus comes essentially as the Prince of Peace, somebody who comes by peaceful means to bring about peaceful change through self-sacrifice. Nevertheless, in this passage he points out that uh, there will be many who find that very difficult to cope with and much division will occur because people will not agree to the way that he is operating and will not agree to the way that those who follow him operate. After all, even his mother and father disagreed with what he was doing, as certainly his mother and brothers uh, and uh, we are told came and tried to stop him from doing what he was doing uh, because he stood in contradiction to some of what was going on around him some of the hypocrisy some of the wrong thinking some of the misunderstandings of what God was really about and further than that he was willing to suffer in order to achieve what he wanted to achieve and there are many who would say that being those who suffer in the way that Jesus did is just not the right way forward. Why would you sacrifice yourself uh, when you could be around to do more and greater things? Indeed, this story of Jesus is slightly absurd. Uh, this incredible, powerful person comes and only spends three years doing his ministry and then at the end of it gets himself killed and then uh, reappears in amazing uh, resurrection uh, but disappears very quickly and uh, is not seen on earth again and that all seems really quite absurd to human thinking but Jesus is God and he sees things in a different way he sees that the reality of him being able to be here by his spirit and touch and guide people's lives is something which makes a, a huge difference a much bigger difference than he would be able to have made in his physical body 
and he sees that uh, the importance of being those who are willing to sacrifice ourselves in order to bring about peaceful change is so important that at times uh, peace needs to be disturbed at times disagreements need to happen at times holding on to that which is more important needs to be done over that which is important so it is that he is willing to allow this situation where families are divided because he realizes that people are individuals people are self-thinkers people do what they want and uh, when some people decide to follow him to take the way that is not the normal way there will be others who disagree with that and there will be others who think that he is mad and yet those who have chosen to follow him are in the right they've chosen to follow him in a way which is better a way which is more caring more loving more upright and if the result of that is division and disharmony then that is a very sad and unfortunate consequence it's an unfortunate consequence not because it's a consequence that jesus wants but it's a consequence which occurs because others object to what jesus wants and no matter what he wants and what, no matter how he operates he cannot force them to be those who agree for he sees free will as so important to us that each of us is able to make our own decisions and those around about us are able to make their own decisions and there will indeed be those who decide that the better way is to go the better way the way of greed and selfishness the way of domination and ruling over others which was so common in the his age and is common in our age and when we say that's not the right way then we are uh, brought into contradiction with them and we have to stand up for what is good we have to stand against evil sometimes evil is so horrible so awful that it is uh, just horrendous in the way that people are treated and sometimes even those in the church have been part of that evil and where we see that either in the world or in the church we have to contradict we have to stand against and those we stand against will not want us to do that so jesus realizes that even the way of peace unfortunately sometimes leads to unpeaceful uh, results and he uh, brings us into focus here so that we might understand that no matter how much we want to make things perfect and uh, wonderful we will not always succeed but we must always seek to continue to aim to do that even when those who would not want it to be that way object to us and even if those are the closest to us the members of our family those who uh, would normally be the ones who we would uh, focus around trying to make sure that we are happy and in good connection to so when it is difficult we pray that god may help us to make those right decisions about what is peaceful and how true peace how true love how true generosity and kindness is to become real in a world which so often does not see those things as truly important Amen. So we have the opportunity to reflect on uh, that. But as we listen to this piece of music, uh, it is the tune of All Heaven Declares, but it's just a piece of music. There are no lyrics on it. Uh, so we have the opportunity either to sing it if we know it, or just listen to the music and think about what it means to be people of peace who nevertheless will come into conflict. We pray that God may help us as we do this thinking.
we then have an opportunity to come before God and say sorry for some of the things and attitudes that we hold. What I don't understand, God, I cast aside, ignore, object to, ridicule and rebuke. What I don't understand, I think, must be wrong. People that are different sometimes worry me, frighten me, disturb and concern me. So I ignore them, to turn my back on them, ignore their needs, their cries for help, their pain and anguish. Almighty God, I am sorry that I can hurt so many people and help them feel worthless, unloved and unwanted. Forgive me, I pray, and strengthen my resolve to see other people's lives and views, needs and desires. Amen. God understands our vulnerability and our confusion and forgives all those who truly repent, who are really sorry for wrong deeds and wrong thoughts and wrong ways, who turn from them. God forgives and goes with us to journey in peace. Amen. And we pray for our world and its people. Lord, you care about the weak and the needy. Be with the vulnerable, with those exploited by others for selfish gain. Rescue them from the clutches of wicked, heartless people. We ask that your hand be with judges and all in authority within the legal system. May they work with integrity to defend those in need. We ask that your hand be upon the oppressed in society today. We pray for all those who are suffering stress and division in their lives or rejection, condemnation and the heartbreak of broken family relationships, especially because of their commitment of faith. Lord, we pray for all those who as yet do not know you and are walking around in darkness. Send faithful witnesses to shine your light into their lives. Lord, lead us. Show us how we can be effective witnesses for you. Amen. And we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Dad in heaven above, let everyone look up to you and the area where you are in charge grow. May what you want happen on earth as perfectly as it does in heaven. Please give to us what we need for today. Forgive us when we think or do wrong things, just as we don't hold it against those who hurt us. Guide us away from whatever we might want but is unhelpful to us, and protect us from all that is nasty and destructive. For you are in charge of everything. You have the power to do it and you are awesome. You always were, you are now and always will be. Amen. Our final uh, song today is Christ Be In My Waking. Cry. 
Christ be in my gladness for the joy of living, thankful for the goodness of the Father's hand. Christ be in my sorrow, in my day of darkness, knowing that I follow in the steps He draws. When hope has faded, nothing left to cling to, every pleasure jaded, every well is dry. Christ the loving shepherd draws me with his kindness, leads me from the desert to the streams of life. be in my waking as the sun is rising in my day of working with me every hour Christ be in my resting as the day is ending So let's join together in this final prayer. Loving Lord, help me to kindle the fire of the good news by discerning, interpreting and applying without compromise your word to my life. Amen. May your heart be at peace and your mind be at rest. May you be confident in who you are and share God's gifts of light, hope and grace with those you meet and those you pray for. And may the blessing of God fill your hearts with hope this day and evermore. Amen.